breaking news courtesy of WWD magazine. Unfortunately for me and somebody has been a proponent and a real champion of pushing and promoting, um, you know, and uplifting streetwear voices because I feel like they're unrepresented, right? <laughs> I feel like streetwear people of color are unrepresented in modern day culture nowadays, especially design, especially in fashion. So I'm always there championing them and giving them the flipping hoo ha he ha, right? That's what I'm doing. And it looks like, unfortunately, one of our soldiers has fallen. Bailey have parted ways with Rugi, the designer of Rude, uh, who they appointed only two years ago. I think he only had like two seasons on the belt. It may not have been two years on paper. It may have been just 18 months. I'm not really too sure. But Bali have decided to part ways with the Rude designer and go in separate directions, which essentially means he got fired. So it says here, courtesy of WWE magazine, it says, um, Bali and Rugi Villasenor, Villa, Villa, Villa Senor, I always get his name wrong. Uh, Rugi Villasenor are parting ways in which was characterized as a joint and mutual decision it's always that in fashion unless you're really egregious um they always try their best to make sure your exit isn't looked at like a firing but it is a firing um villa senor joined the swiss brand in january of last year <laughs> holy shit was the work that bad um the chief executive officer nicholas garotto unders underscored the design creative contributions as well as his passion energy and creativity and helped to catapult belly back into the spotlight further rejuvenating the brand's 170 legacy through modern glamorous lens i wish him all the best for his next chapter of his creative journey this sounds like when you get those really big um rejection letters from jobs you apply for a job and you, you you know you send your application off you're waiting for a good response and then they send you a whole entire fucking email with four paragraphs essentially telling you thank you for contributing no thank you for applying thank you for considering us but we're gonna go in another direction thank you but no thanks that's what it sounds like isn't it right they're giving him this happy um you know it's not you it's us fucking handshake which is which is probably worse just make it blunt make it two lines and keep it moving bally's design studio will continue to carry the direction of the brand forward until a new creative direct organization is named a co-ed fashion show in milan is planned to present the brand's spring 2024 collection during the sixth fashion week in september so the work was so bad they're not even willing to put out whatever's left over they're just parting and also they're parting ways before naming a successor so this is definitely a not amicable split for sure Villasenor upped the brand's visibility by bringing Bali back to the runway with the show in September 2022 in Milan, presenting a sensual, bold woman and followed by a sophomore show in February. He also added his own spin of celebrating the brand's storied curling boot by fusing unexpected Western details with traditional mantering motives. He says, my experience at Bali has been an incredible honour. <laughs> I wish the brand nothing but the best of all the future endeavours and look forward to enjoying next chapter. Um, born in Manila, Villasenor grew in Southern California, blah, blah, blah. In a previous interview, Greta told W the day realized tapping the vessel was a bell choice but you can't win if you don't do a spectator of you you have to look at Bali's past and blah 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 anyway one thing that he got from this which i think is going to be beneficial he got some fucking sick press shots there's a press there's an interview he did with um gq style and something else but for sure for sure this guy got some amazing press shots from his flipping time and headshots or whatever it may be from his time at Bali. Like they went crazy in terms of covering him in all the right places and increasing his profile in that regard. So well done to him on that regard. Honestly, he smashed it there. But let's also be accurate and sure. This is definitely a clear example as to why going and flipping or no, this is why it's a good example of like holding up these fashion institutions or these houses or these brands up onto a pedestal for these streetwear guys is folly i think a lot of people in streetwear look down on streetwear especially the guys that staff designing it they think as if they're better than they did it which is crazy because i think it's the most accessible and most it's the most accessible point of entry for any person to make clothes and i still think it kind of has a overall wider appeal than high-end fashion because most people can't afford that shit but you can essentially provide people on the street with clothing they can actually wear day-to-day -day, um with a brand that they can actually get behind with a designer they can actually believe in long term as opposed to a really massive corporation or brand or a house like in terms of fashion regarding and also i think just in general the sensibilities and the design and the flipping you know the demands placed on designers in 
streetwear and his fashion are very different and walking you know going from running your own thing at rude which you know rugi was doing for a long time essentially being his own being his own designer being essentially freelance doing his own thing and then essentially having to clock in clock out a job and having to kind of work under certain parameters and having to have a certain vision in mind and having to compromise all these things are things that he probably hasn't been doing for a long time because he's been running rude successfully for a very 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 long time so if that's the case i'm not surprised that there was some butting of heads happening but again i think it's this weird fetishization of fashion in general with these streetwear guys where they feel like they need the validation of people in paris or people in milan or whatever it may be that they end up going there seeking their validation and end up getting completely shitted on they end up getting completely shitted on disregarded disrespected and then guess what they end up having to come right back down to where they started from the same place that they were kind of dismissing and kind of trying to distance themselves from because that's the only place that's going to welcome them with open arms and i think it's kind of sad to be completely fair but we also can't deny apart from all that working working conditions type of shit the work was terrible let's not deny it. the two shows that he did were fucking garbage like legitimately garbage i find myself really struggling to try and give the guy praise and to try and cover them in somewhat of a positive light but the work wasn't good so the fact that he took the job was admirable the fact that he was hired for the role the fact that the guys over at Bali would be so bold to choose somebody like that to lead their reinvention and to hope that he could zaza vavavum and flipping you know bring them back into modernity was amazing but let's not you know cut to the chase here the work was absolutely terrible it was kind of mediocre it kind of flat to deceive and it's no surprise and just off long on the work itself that that's why it kind of failed but if you look at the guy's twitter account and you look at his feed he's letting off he's letting people know that this wasn't mutual <laughs> he's letting them know that this wasn't mutual he wasn't happy in the slightest and he's letting it off and it also shows that maybe he didn't sign an nda which is really interesting it says here um, his latest tweet be casual have full control of your action and your destiny so i think this is a bit of a sub at bali um there's another tweet here which features a screenshot of lebron talking about the time that he went to the heat i'm not too sure what the meaning around that is um there's another tweet here that says this is more of a, this more this is more clarity so this whole mutual consent thing is gone it's important for the future and the kids that i'm paving way for to for to have a proper roadmap for them to have a proper roadmap, i guess that leads them to proper enterprise value always focus on what you own and build the world you wish you have never compromise your values or culture for anything i think this is a bit rich because when he got the job he was flexing as if like you know he finally made it but i thought he made it anyway by building rude to be what it was now the fact that he made it now recently i saw rude do a collaboration with lamborghini again i think all car collab merch is fucking awful but still the fact that his brand is in a position to do a collab with Lamborghini just shows how much it's, it's kind of grown and how successful and how well established and how well regarded it is so he's already won in my book by doing that but he that wasn't enough he needed the validation of fashion and now finally they you know and now you know unfortunately they're flipping not finally but unfortunately they fire him and now suddenly you know it's all like oh never compromise your vision create the world that you need bloody blah, blah 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 where was all this talk when they were offering the job maybe stick to your guns and just do the thing that you're doing instead of fetishizing and holding up these fashion people as you know better than when essentially they don't understand what you're about um it continues here more tweets here again this gives you an indi indication because again look for his twitter as well because he's very you know he's 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 on social a lot and there's not a lot of promotion of badly products on his social media there's a lot of his own shit but not a lot of it on Bally's. you know what i mean even i think the bar has been updated already hasn't it has the bio been updated? Yeah, the bio has already been updated. Founder of Rude, founder of RUH by Zara. So the Bali Association is already gone quickly, sharply. Um, he continues here, says, never compromise your vision or your values. Never, ever. This is in May before the firing has been, no, May 12th before the firing has been finalized. I'm assuming it may have happened somewhere around here. You can give them your juice, but never let them take your sauce. So for sure, this around this time, something must have happened. <laughs> Another one here, May 10th. Urgency is really the, 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 the defense maker on who gets the shit accomplished. What else we got here? We got another one. I've got to get back to the States. So he was already hating it. Maybe he was a bit homesick, 
another picture here of <laughs> okay this is a thing i don't know but yeah i love the way you make me feel maybe this is a bally one yeah i think this is a bally image so there wasn't a lot of bally promotion um on his social media feed and he was given the feelings that he kind of wasn't vibing or liking it so we can assume reading between the lines the head honchos at bally were basically trying to give him some notes on what to do in designs they were maybe giving him some notes on what he should do in terms of color palettes and what he's in terms of shows maybe telling him to tone it down with the blacks right or with the hip-hops i don't know what they wanted right <laughs> something really maybe you want to miss and that's why the flipping collaboration ended but again like i said the work wasn't the greatest um i think and i think in general maybe the the expectation levels maybe didn't match and maybe the flipping demands that were placed on him he probably wasn't that aware of being you know out of flipping working under the farm of a corporation or underneath somebody working on his own for so long that probably took some getting used to and again it's another example as to why overall i think streetwear guys should honor and should put the fact that they have a popping successful brand in streetwear that's selling out that's doing well that's got a fan base is really 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 um something to be kind of heralded and really held up you know in its own regard it's just as good as having a runway show you know subscribing to the fucking fashion calendar in the first place is the most anti-punk thing you can do in this in you know in, in general anyway it's not really counterculture in the slightest kind of acquiescing to them and going to their showrooms and kissing the ring and wanting to get into their fucking magazines and having girls flipping you know wear your t-shirts and stand on skateboards and stuff that's not street right that's fucking lame in my humble and personal opinion and obviously he will go on to do amazing things in the future i'm sure of it but this for sure wasn't amicable this for sure wasn't a, you know a mutually beneficial decision it for sure was them butting heads and not being on the same wavelength and eventually bally got his i mean rugi got his wish he's back in the u.s now no more hanging out in switzerland and wherever else he was i think it's Switzerland where bally's headquarters are none of that association with hitler as well that's a good one right none of that hitler ss association because if you google bally and you google nazi it gets a bit freaky out there in the streets so big up rugi for this himself from that group of people nobody needs that smoke nobody needs that bally nazi hitler smoke mate it's not enough mate they can't pay you enough to have that association on your jacket i utterly utterly implore you to leave as soon as possible